CQ Researcher is an excellent resource, uh, especially for pro-con papers or if you don't quite know what you want to do your paper on. You can scroll down and search by topic. Just select a topic that you want to look more into, or you can look at hot topics, which are the things that, that people search for most on the platform. Or ProCon. I am particularly fond of ProCon because a lot of you have to do ProCon papers for your English classes, and you can see these are all the A ProCons and B, C, D, you can pick whatever ProCon you want. I've picked P and I'm going to go down and look at pesticides. So here are the articles that talk about pesticides. These are the dates that they were published and the exact titles. So I'm going to pick this one from 1999 on pesticides just to show you what this looks like. Here's the report. And the report has three different sections, the introduction, the current situation, and pros and cons, which you can expand to look at both the pro and the con of an item. If this is an article that you decide you want to utilize, you can use these tools to get a link, cite, share, change your text size, embed it or download the PDF. If you're going to share this, if you have to share it on a discussion board or send it to someone who's working with you with the writing, use this link or this link, the share or the get link links. Don't go up here to the address bar and right click and copy and paste because this is tied to this single session. So it won't work if you transfer it to another computer. Citation works just like it does in other databases. You can change the format, APA, Chicago, Harvard, MLA, AMA. And for the most part, these are, these are right. They're like 95% right. But always remember with citation that you are responsible for making sure that your citation matches what your instructor is looking for. Uh, if your instructor says to use Purdue OWL, use Purdue OWL. If they've got a style sheet, use their style sheet and just make sure that your citation matches what they want. You can copy this and paste it, stick it in your uh, works cited page, and then just adjust it from there. It should be pretty close. You can also search CQ Researcher, searching all content for what you're looking for, and it will give you filters and you can come down here and look at all of the different articles that you can find. So if we want to do content available to me, um, let's do hot topics and we'll do it in agriculture because it's pesticides and then scroll down and publication date. You can change the publication dates to make them more current. And then apply the filter and it will bring back the items. This returns no results. So if we clear the filters, you can decide that you want to remove the filters here at the top, and then it'll pull up the results that you have once you remove some of the filters. It's very easy to use.